Hey guys, it's Julie. I'm out here with Pippa and we're in the back alleys of Frederick and just taking a nice walk and I was going to show you some of the things that she's learned so far and what you can accomplish just on a really short 10 to 15 minute walk to keep the training sharp. So obviously right now I've got her in a nice heel. Heel means walk at my left side, follow my left leg, follow my pace and follow my direction. So that means she has to be paying attention 100% because if she strays her mind, starts paying attention to something else, she starts making positional errors or mindset errors, which then get corrected and she moves back to heel position. So she'll learn she has to put in 100% effort on the walk because she's got to stay in that specific pocket that is next to my left leg. This is why dogs are so mentally tired after a short walk in heel versus an hour walk out of control. It's because they have to use their mind and they have to think and it's mentally draining. It's mind work, it's really good for them. We did a video the other day with Josh pushing her heel back about an inch because when I first started working with her, it was a little bit too far ahead. So we did some heel work pushed her back about an inch and she's right in that pocket next to my leg. It's beautiful. Okay, let me show you some other things besides the heel. Okay, when I stop, she should sit. Sit, good girl. And she should stay until given further instruction or released. I'm gonna flip the camera around here. So we've got our heel to a sit stay. I can also give her further instruction. Down. She lays down on command. She's got a nice automatic double down because that's another thing we've been working on the past couple days is when you lay down, you might be there a while. So just relax, put your chin on the ground. Now I'm gonna show you the recall. You can say the word come or you can just tap the tone. We love the tone. So when I tap this T button here, she's going to come on over to me. I'm going to praise her and she should sit right here. Good girl. Sit. Very nice. I love that. Going through a couple commands. We had a really nice structured walk to a sit, to a down, and we practiced a recall. What a good girl. She heard me say it. And you're probably wondering, well, how does she take a break? How does she know when she can go to the bathroom? So to buffer between work the heel, the sit, the down, and play time or break time, you always want to have a stay command. So if you're walking, you want to stop and have her sit, then release her or release her from a down. You never want to release her straight from a heel. So she's in her down stay and I'm going to say, Pippa, break. Good girl. Now she's free. She can go potty. This is her time to go to the bathroom. She can sniff. And then when you want to get her back to work, you're going to recall and we're going to recall to a heel. So I'm going to turn heel and she snaps into that heel position. And now we are walking completely off leash. We're walking completely off leash. It's not even in my hand. It's dragging. So everything is totally off leash. So of course we're going to be proofing this over the next week that she's here, taking it downtown, taking it to Home Depot, taking her to coffee shops, um, and using it out where it matters, out in the real world. 